evening and welcome to TL Physics. My name's Sarah and today I'm going to talk about alpha decay. So you may have done a bit about alpha, beta and gamma radiation at GCSE. Just to recap, alpha radiation is a helium nucleus. So it has two protons and two neutrons. So two protons and two neutrons. And it also has a charge of plus two, and that is really important to remember. I'm just going to remind you that alpha is the most ionizing, but the least penetrative. It will be stopped by paper. The reason for this is because, the reason it's the most ionizing is because it has a lot of mass. It's two protons and two neutrons. When that hits an electron, so remember ionizing is the gain or loss of electrons, when alpha, an alpha particle, hits an electron, it's like being hit by a two-ton truck. So it's very easy to ionize things. But because it's so big compared to everything else, it can't really get through much. Okay, it can't really get through the gaps, etc. So it, that's why it's the least penetrative. Now this is just an example. This is uranium-235. And it is decaying by uh, alpha and it will make a new element. So alpha is 4,2. So much like we've been doing with all uh, interactions, etc., both sides have to equal. So the number of protons I have on this side uh, has to equal the number of protons I have at this side. So something plus 2 will be 92, so that will be 90. And the number of neutrons at the top, so 235, so something plus 4 is 235, and that is 231. I also add this plus energy, and this will help you for your second year, but it's not necessary for first year physics. It's necessary for the second, okay? But if you want to put it there, you're not going to be marked down for it. So this is alpha decay. It is important that for the physics syllabus, you do not, or you're expected to know elements. The ones you're supposed to know are, for example, helium and hydrogen. Uranium-235 is a common one but you will be given that in an exam.